So how would you add these fractions? Well, assuming you know how to add fractions, you're probably looking at the denominators and you're saying, well, first thing is we have to get these numbers to be the same because you can't add fractions if the denominators are different. Well, that is absolutely true. So what we're going to need here is the lowest common denominator. Well, that's not going to be so easy to find because our denominators here are 323 and 27. So finding the LCD uh, with these denominators, again, it's not going to be so easy, even if you have a calculator. Well, there is a completely different way to do this problem. Matter of fact, it is the fastest way to add these fractions. And the great thing about uh, this particular way is that it has nothing to do with finding the LCD. Okay, but uh, let's see how much you know about fractions anyway. So feel free to use a calculator and add these fractions. So the question is 7 over 323 plus 2 over 27. And again, even with the assistance of a calculator, adding these uh, two fractions up is not uh, that uh, simple. But go ahead and put your answer, if you have one, into the comment section. And then, of course, we'll talk about what you have to do to find the LCD between these two fractions and why you might think, you know what, I'm not going to do it this way. I want to do it this way, uh, the way this guy on YouTube is going to teach me in just one second. All right, but uh, before I get to all of that, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so 7 over 323 plus 2 over 27. So one thing that uh, I don't want you to do is to take 7 divided by 323, get some sort of decimal, and then take 2 and divide it by 27 and get some sort of decimal and add those up. So that's not what we're talking about. I want your answer to be a fraction. All right, so as I indicated, you cannot add or subtract fractions unless you have the same denominator. So uh, let's take a look at some simple examples here just to kind of review how to find the LCD. So most of you out there probably already know that, yes, I'm going to have to find the LCD. So let's take a look at uh, this uh, simple example, two-fifths plus one-third. What is the LCD right here? Well, most of you probably uh, might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, it's 15, and you would be correct, right? So 15 is the lowest number that both 5 and 3 can divide into. So how did you find that, right? Well, how did you actually calculate the LCD? Now, when you ask someone that, they, uh, you know, they kind of wonder, well, I don't know. I just know that uh, the LCD is 15. Well, the, a lot of people, again, don't really know how they uh, found the LCD. They just, they just know they have the LCD. And that's often the case because these numbers here are very easy, very simple. Let's take a look at this example, 2 fifths plus 1 over 30. Okay, what is the LCD here? Well, the LCD is 30. Okay, so we have 5 here and we have 30 here. So if you wanted to add these fractions, we'd have to make uh, each denominator into 30. And this is not too difficult, right? Because I would just multiply this by 6 right here and this by 6. And, of course, we would have uh, 30, okay, as the denominator here. Then we have 12 over 30. Now, here, uh, I would have to do what? Well, you have to change each fraction uh, such that the denominator is 15. So you have to multiply this by 5, this by 5, this by 3, this by 3. So, again, first things first. First, we have to figure out uh, the LCD. Then we have to rewrite these fractions. Sometimes you have to rewrite both. Sometimes you have to rewrite one. Now, if we have the same denominator, we don't have to rewrite anything. But again, these are simple little denominators. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about how you actually find the LCD. So here, we know the LCD is 30. Okay, it's the lowest number that both 5 and 30 go into. But the way you find the LCD involves, uh, an LCD is the lowest common denominator, involves factoring. We have to prime factor. So in this case, we need to prime factor both 5 and 30. Well, 5 is already uh, fully factored into its prime uh, form. 1 times 5 is 5, but here 30 is not, so we would have to uh, factor 30 out. So 30 is the same thing as 3 times 10. 3 is prime, so 10 is not, so we're just making a little uh, factor tree here. So 10 is the same thing as 5 times 2. So here are all, all the prime factors, excuse me, of 30. 
Okay, so 30 is equal to 3 times 5 times 2. Now, the LCD is uh, basically, uh, again, you know, I'm kind of quickly reviewing this, but it has to represent or has to have all the prime factors of uh, both or, you know, if you have two denominators or three or four, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, basically, all the prime factors of the respective denominators. So we have a five here, okay? So that has to be in our uh, LCD as a factor. So we also have a five right here, okay? Our 30 has a five as a prime factor, but we need a three, okay? That's a prime factor of 30. And we also need a two, that's a prime factor of 30. So three times five times two is the LCD. Of course, this is 15 times two or 30. Okay, so if you're a little bit confused on how to find the LCD, well, this is basic arithmetic. A lot of people are, but you need to understand the process because if we want to find the LCD of our problem, okay, kind of going back over here, uh, 7 over 3, 23, and 2 over 27, we have to prime factor each of these denominators, okay? And then we're going to have to go through the same process. So as I indicated in the beginning of this video, this is not going to be a fun process, uh, even if you have a calculator, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at 27, because uh, this is pretty straightforward. Most you can say, well, this is not too difficult to factor, and you would be right. So 27, we can factor as 9 times 3. 3 is prime, and then uh, 9, we could continue to factor, so that's 3 times 3 times 3. So 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. That's all the prime factors, or 3 cubed. Okay, no big deal there on 27, but uh, 323 is a whole different ball game. Now you can see here, I'm already showing you the factors, okay? We have two prime numbers uh, as the factors, 17 and 19, okay? Now, how would you get to those factors? Well, let's suppose you had a calculator. You might say, all right, well, if, if you don't know any divisibility rules, you can just start taking 323, maybe divided by three. Well, that's not gonna work. Divided by four, divided by five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's, you, know, you're, you're, you might get to a point where you're like, well, 323 cannot be factored. Well, it can be factored. It's just going to take a lot of work. Eventually, you will have kind of discovered, if you keep you know, trying enough numbers, that 17 goes into 323 19 times, or 323 divided by 19 is 17. So again, when it comes to big denominators like the ones that we're dealing with right here, it may not be so easy to find the prime factors. Now, uh, once we do have the prime factors, now we can build the LCD. So let's go ahead and build the LCD uh, to this problem. So the LCD is going to be uh, the uh, product of all the individual prime factors. So we need a 17, okay, we need this 19, and then we need 3 cubed, right, which of course is 27. So 17 times 19 times 27 is going to be the actual lowest common denominator, which is 8721. Okay, so that is the denominator. Then we have to actually go back and change each individual fraction here in our problem uh, such that it has that LCD and then finally add this up. So this is a good amount of work, again, even with a calculator. But uh, uh, as I indicated, there is another option to take because, you know, when you get experience with, in math, especially dealing with fractions, you know, you look at these denominators, you're like, oh boy, you know, I don't know if I want to, you know, find the LCD. That looks like a lot of work and I don't blame you. So let's go ahead and take a look, take a look at this other technique. This is an absolute must know. Uh, this is probably uh, my all time favorite little shortcut technique in all of mathematics. Now, before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can. But the key is to find a teacher that gives you clear and understandable instruction. So hopefully you like my teaching style. And if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you. Well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description. But they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. 
I do a lot of uh, different YouTube videos to kind of uh, teach this technique. So this is something that you absolutely must know. And if you've never seen this before, well, this is going to be your lucky day because it's going to make your work with fractions so much easier. All right, so let's take a look at this simple example. I'm going to show you this technique, and then we're going to apply this technique on our actual problem. Okay, so here we have two-fifths plus one-third. Now, uh, typically, you would say, all right, well, the LCD is 15, so I'm going to multiply this by 5, and this by 5, and this by 3, and this by 3. Again, we could do that, uh, and it's not too difficult because this problem is pretty easy, but we're not going to do uh, this problem in this manner. We're going to use something called the bow tie technique. So the bow, uh, bow tie technique follows this little pattern of a bow tie, like so. So basically, you want to be thinking in this, this way, this way, and this way. Now, if you kind of see this, it kind of looks like a bow tie. And this is a very specific pattern, okay? So step one is going to be in this direction, and I'll show you this in a second. Step two, so this is our first step. And if you don't do this problem in this exact order, you can make errors, all right? So step one is this way, step two is this way, and step three is in this direction, okay? So just remember this way, one, or remember this pattern, and you will have this technique down. One, two, three. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply the bow tag uh, technique right now. Okay, so step one is we're going to go in this direction. What we're doing is we're taking this denominator, we're gonna multiply by that numerator. So three times two, you're just going in a cross-wise uh, uh, cross wise manner. So three times two is what? It's six. We're going to be building our numerator here. Okay. All right. So that's step one this way, right? So that's the first step. Step two is you're going to do the same thing, but in the opposite direction. So this is going to be five times one. Five times one is five. Now, because this is an addition problem, we're going to be adding and our first little, uh, little crosses here are building our numerator. Okay. So again, three times two, we start this way. That's six, five times one plus five times one is five. This is our numerator. Then we're gonna put a line, our fraction bar, and then we're going to go across. Five times three is 15. Now let's do this math. Six plus five is 11. 11 over 15, that is the answer, okay? This is the answer that you would have uh, come up with if we change the uh, denominator here to the LCD. So we would have been like, all right, let me see. This will be uh, by five. This I have to multiply by three. So I would have six over 15 plus five over 15. Now I have the same denominator, add the numerator, 11 over 15, okay? So instead of doing all that work, we just simply follow this bow tie method and we got the right answer. All right, so this is the method that we're going to use to add these, um, this original problem up. But there's only one drawback to this particular technique is that sometimes you do not have the lowest common denominator as your final answer, so you may have to reduce. Okay, so that's the only drawback because I don't want you to learn this technique and be like, oh boy, I'm not going to ever add fractions using the LCD. You need to know how to find the LCD. It's very critical, especially in algebra. And so don't forget this, but this is a great shortcut and you absolutely want to know this uh, in algebra as well. Okay, so let's go, to, uh, uh, go ahead and apply this bow tie technique to uh, answer this question. So, you know, looking at this problem, right, originally, uh, if, let's assume that you do know this bow tie method and you know how to find the LCD. You could very well have been like, well, oh boy, I do not want to find the LCD here. I just know that's probably not going to be that much uh, fun. So I'm just going to go right into the bow tie technique. And uh, I think that would be a smart move. That would be the fastest way to do this problem. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just take uh, 27 times 7. Remember, this is the steps. Step one, it's got to be in this order because when you are dealing with a subtraction problem, okay, you can see that this is going to be our second value. Okay, you don't want this to be our first value. So this is uh, really important when it comes to subtracting uh, fractions. So again, the bow tie technique works with, with both adding and subtracting fractions, numeric fractions, and algebraic fractions as well. It's an, it's, it's an absolute must-know um, uh, shortcut in all of math. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply it right now. So 27... Uh, 27 times 7, again, use your calculator, no big deal. 27 times 7, 189. Plus, this is, we're building our numerator out, 323 times 2, that is 646 over our denominator, 
323 times 27, which is 8721. So now, this 8721, this is the same denominator that we had when we were finding the LCD. So now, just simply add those uh, numbers in the numerator. We got 835 over 8721. It's as simple as that. So um, in this particular case, we kind of lucked out because the denominator is, in fact, the lowest common denominator. But again, even if I was doing this problem myself, I would just go ahead and use the bow tie technique, get my answer, and then double, triple check that it's fully reduced or try to simplify it from there. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.